everyone, I'm back with another K-pop haul. Today we have two packages to take a look at. The first is from a group order that I took part in, and the second is from Music Korea. We're going to take a look at the one from the group order first. And here we have the item itself. It's very small, wrapped in bubble wrap. I don't normally participate in group orders. I prefer just to pre-order it myself from the eShops. But this item was a Japan exclusive for fan club members only, so there was no way that I could purchase it myself. But fortunately, this group order manager was a member of the Japanese fan club, and it was very nice of her to take it upon herself to start a group order so other people who wanted this item could have it for themselves. If you follow this group, you might can guess what the item is by that description, but if not, it is... Monster X's Japan Official Fan Meeting Volume 1, Beautiful Days, which is a DVD with footage from a Japanese fan meeting they held earlier this year. They did their first world tour earlier this year, but they didn't have a full concert stop in Japan. They just had some Japanese fan meetings to coincide with the release of their Japanese beautiful single. But the set list is rather similar to what they had on the world tour, just like a condensed version. Near on the back, you can see it was filmed at ZEP Tokyo on August 22nd of this year. And the set list of the live songs we have is Shine Forever, Incomparable. That's a new translation, Pure Girl. Normally that song is translated as White Girl or White Love. Sweetheart, which is also translated as White Sugar. The Japanese version of Ready or Not. Oh I. The Japanese version of Hero, Fighter, Blind, The Rock versions of Trespass and Rush. Japanese version of Beautiful, I'll Be There, 514, and then it also includes The Game Corner. But I'm assuming there are no subtitles, and I don't see any information about subtitles at the bottom. But it is all region, as you can see there, which is awesome, because a lot of times Japanese DVDs are region locked for region 2 only. Like a lot of Japanese exclusive releases, it is really bare bones. <clears throat> Just the typical DVD case. And on the inside we have the disc itself, the logo for Beautiful Days. It's a really pretty font that they used. And behind the disc you can see we have a little picture of the group. We also have this insert on the left. I'm not going to call it a booklet because I already know, even without taking it out, it's just going to be a couple pages. Japan Fan Meeting Volume 1. Yeah, like I said, it's not really a booklet, it's just one picture of all the members. Some information about the fan meeting. There were four different dates. This DVD was filmed on the last one. And over here we have some credits. Movie staff, concert staff, Starship Entertainment staff, etc. And then on the back just another live group shot. If you're not interested in the actual DVD content and you really only want this like for collecting purposes, you might want to pass because I think with shipping and all this was like 60 something dollars which is a lot for something that simple, but for me, I love the live content, I love having concert footage, and even though it's not actually from the world tour, it's from the fan meeting, but it's similar enough that it's a way for me to kind of relive my concert experience from this year. One slight upside, even though the package is pretty bare bones, it did also include a set of pre-order photos, not photo cards, but and there's the next to the DVD for scale. And I believe there's one of each member. So we have Minhyuk. On the back is just plain photo paper. I am Wanho. Shonu. Kyungwon. Kihyun. And Juhan. I would love if Starship released an official World Tour DVD or a Soul Concert DVD, but I don't see it happening. I feel like they would have announced it already if they had one in the works, but I don't know. They do like to drop surprise photo books and DVDs on us, so who knows. <laughs> but I'm not expecting it at this point, but I would love it if they did, or at least released studio versions or high quality live videos of the special unit stages, because those aren't on this. Like the 24 karat magic stage or the mirror cover. Because those were really nice. So that's it for the first package. And next we have this package from Music Korea. Should be three albums in here. And I've already cut the tape to make it a bit easier to open. We've got posters on the bottom. 
And yep, three albums. So I just took a look at the posters myself. I'm not going to show them on camera because they're a bit difficult to fit in the frame. And three albums were just wrapped in bubble wrap. It was taped a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that open. And the three albums we have to take a look at are Twice's first full album repackaged, Merry and Happy. I got the green version because I like that cover a bit better. And I also got the pre-order set of photo cards. We have the single album from Eve, the newest member of Luna. And yes, I'm still calling her the newest member because Chu's single isn't out yet, even though she's been revealed. And finally, VAP's eighth single album, Ego. So we're gonna start with Twice's album and work our way over to VAP's. Merry and Happy is the repackage of Twice's first full album, twice to gram It's sort of a Christmas-themed album. It's not officially a Christmas album, but the second new track, Merry and Happy, is Christmassy. Heart Shaker is not. Heart Shaker is just a normal Twice song. I don't think this album is wholly necessary for your collection if you already have twice to gram unless you really like the new songs or the Christmas concept, or you just like to collect everything twice. I had pre-ordered twice to gram before I found out the booklets were random member versions. And when I got my copy, I didn't like the booklet I had, so I was debating whether I wanted to sell it, buy another, or just buy the other booklets that I wanted. And then when they announced the repackage, I ended up deciding to buy the repackage instead. So I actually sold my copy of twice to gram. I don't have that anymore. I just have this repackage now. But I might go back later and buy another copy of twice to gram and try my luck at getting another booklet. So like a lot of Twice's albums, it comes with a pre-order set of photo cards. One for each member, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. We have nine. I did keep my pre-order photo cards from Twice to Gram, but everything else I sold. Jung Yun. Momo. She looks really cute with her hair in this concept. Sana. And the backs are all the same. Jihyo. Mina. Dahyun. Young and Jui. I have to say, I don't really like how they have their names on the front. I wish they had those on the back instead, or didn't have them at all. But I'm not going to complain too much because these were free. <laughs> and then we have the album itself. It's green. It kind of feels like a storybook cover, and then it has the little gold accents. This picture of the girls, which is very adorable. The poster is either this exact photo or something very, very similar with them in the boxes. There's the spine, Merry and Happy, and the track list on the back. It has 15 songs. Heart Shaker, Merry and Happy, which are the two new ones, and then the 13 songs from Twice to Gram. There's also a pink version of this album, but I just chose to get the green one because I like that cover better. Oh, I forgot I had a random member CD plate, and I got Mina for that one. I don't typically collect CD plates, so I'm not too bothered by who I get for those, but my biases in Twice are kind of all over the place. I know Sana, and then it goes back and forth between Momo, Dahyun, and Cheyong for the other. I have the track listing again. Merry and Happy Twice. We have some pictures of Nayeon, Jungyeon, Momo. Momo looks stunning in this album concept. Just everything about it. I love the way her hair is styled. I love her outfit. And Sana is always adorable. And Jihyo. We have another group picture of them in the little boxes. Mina. Dahyun, she looks gorgeous here. As is Cheyong. And Jui. That's a cute little Christmas tree design. Oh, that's really cute with the Polaroid style pictures. And it kind of continues the theme from Twice to Gram. That's really cute. Photo card, who did I get? Oh, you get three different photo cards again, that's awesome. So the first one I got, Jewy. I got Jewy for one of my cards in Twistergram too. There's a heart on the back and it looks like it's textured. 
So I don't know if like you're supposed to peel it off or do something with that. I'll have to look that up later and make sure I don't mess it up before I try anything. That's kind of neat. And again, they kind of continued the twistogram concept, which is cute. I like the unity. So the next photo card I got, Momo. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy with that. That's a very cute card. And then finally we got Mina again. Mina seems to be very popular with me today, but I really, really like this Momo card. I haven't really decided who I'm collecting in this group yet because, like I said, my biases go back and forth, but I definitely want to keep that card. It's so cute. And then we have some stickers. And a postcard. I think the postcards are random, but it's nice that I got the version that matches the version of the album that I have. Because, like I said, I like the green concept a little bit better than the pink one. And there's a group photo. Almost my bias line. If that was Dahyun instead of Nayan, that would be my bias line for sure. Very cute. They're just a very cute group. Now, I haven't watched any unboxing, so I don't know if any of these pictures are shared with the pink version. I think they might be, because I remember this concept from the teasers. And we have the group thanks to's, Nian's thanks to's, Jungyun's. I like that they always include their thanks to's in the albums, because not all groups do nowadays. Momo, Sana, Jihyo, Mina, Dahyun, and Cheyoung, and Jiwi. Then we have the lyrics for Heart Shaker, Merry and Happy, Likey, Turtle, Missing You, Wow, FFW, Ding Dong. 24-7, look at me, rolling, love line, don't give up, and then the last two that I always forget the English translations of. We've got some credits, and that's the end. So overall, like I said, if you're not a fan of the Christmas concept, or you already have twice to gram, you may not feel the need to pick this one up, but I personally like this concept, I think it's really cute. I like that it's a group booklet instead of units, so you don't have to buy three versions to get the whole group. So for now, I'm very satisfied to have this in my collection, and I'm glad I made the decision to pick it up and sell off my copy of Twice Program. Controversial, though, that might be. Next up, we have Eve's single album. I got version A, and it has two songs, New and D1. And I have to say, when I first got into Luna and Odd Eye Circle, I was questioning whether or not I would end up liking the whole group or just Odd Eye Circle. Because while I have grown to like the One Third Girls songs over time, at first, they weren't really my cup of tea. So I thought, you know, if the whole group ended up having songs more like that, maybe I wouldn't like the whole group as much as I like Odd Eye Circle. And so I wasn't really expecting a lot from Eve before this single came out. Especially from the first two teaser photos, because the, the white and the angelic look, it definitely seemed like it was returning more to the pure, innocent concept that the first two girls have. And then the music video came out, and all of those expectations were shattered. This honestly might be my favorite Luna solo release. This might actually beat the Odd Eye Circle girls for me. I adore the song, I adore the music video concept, and Eve is definitely now a contender for my Luna bias, which is terrible because I'm going to end up biasing literally half the group at this rate. And so I'm very excited to see what Chu's song sounds like and what the group is going to do going forward because I didn't know what to expect from the whole group before and now I still don't really know what to expect but I know that it's going to be awesome. So that's my little ramble about Luna to start this unboxing. And then inside we have the CD, which is white, and another picture of Eve. She's so pretty. A lot of people have said that her looks remind them of, like, Sully and Nyan and someone from Sistar. I get the Sistar girls confused. I'm sorry. 
But I can definitely see those comparisons. She's very, very beautiful. Oh, it looks like the photo card. Yep, photo card already. And of course, since this is Eve's solo album, it's going to be one of Eve. Oh, I like that one. I got one with kind of the, the clueless concept outfit. That's very cute. I like that one a lot. to say though the very first teaser picture they put out of her is not the most flattering because I remember when it first came out there were a lot of people making negative comments about her appearance and I was like seriously but like to be fair now that we've seen more pictures of her and just going through this photo book like she does look different in her first teaser photo than she does in like every other picture of her so I'm like Blackberry, what were you doing? I guess white is probably going to be her signature color, considering how much of it she's wearing in this photo book. Oh, and I forgot to mention the B-side track. That is really, really pretty as well. Okay, well that wasn't like really the clueless concept outfit, that was the clueless concept outfit, but this one is kind of similar, kind of the same vibe. Oh, she's so cute! Like I said, she's definitely in the running to being my Luna bias, but like, so are all three Odd Eye Circle girls and Hustle, and Yojin, and we still have three more girls coming, so it's, I'm literally going to end up standing half the group, if not more, I kid you not, at this point. And, oh, well maybe her color's going to be burgundy rather than white, because her little stamp book is burgundy. She's wearing a lot of white. And of course we have the lyrics for New and D1. I love New. Like I said, it's one of my favorite Luna songs. Thanks to and Smart Credits. So I'm very, very happy to have that in my collection. And I have now already bought all of the other Luna Girl solo singles. I'm just waiting on them to come in the mail. So I can do an unboxing of those as well. I literally went from, I don't know if I'm going to stay on the whole group or just on our circle too. I need everything now. Just because of Eve. So good job Eve. You, you successfully swindled me out of all of my money. <laughs> and then finally we have my most anticipated album out of these three. Which is BAP's eighth single album, Ego. This is their third release of the year and it is also their third three song single album. Which is a little bit annoying because they could have very easily held off on some of the tracks and made either a full nine song album or two mini albums but they did three single albums instead which I'm not totally going to complain about because I do really like the music videos for Wake Me Up and Honeymoon and if they did save it all for one album both of those wouldn't have gotten to be the title tracks but still BAP is usually in my opinion known for their kind of cohesive bodies of work, so it is a bit disappointing that we didn't really get that with these three singles. They have also changed the packaging again. Their last few releases, um, Noir, Rose, and Blue, were all the same tall, thin, paperback type packaging, and here they've gone back to a smaller hardcover packaging, which I do appreciate that change, because I like the hardcover packaging better than the paperback style. And as I said, it has three songs. We have the title track, Hands Up, and then the B-sides, Moon Dance, and Think Hole. I do have to say, with the blue single album, Honeymoon is great, but and Rewind is totally fantastic, totally the AP's color. 
But with the music on Honeymoon and All the Way Up, the other B-side track, it kind of felt like they were going towards more generic music that didn't... I mean, it has the 80s flavor, but it also, All the Way Up especially, sounds like it could have been recorded by another group and it would have worked. And I kind of feel the same way about this album. For example, I was playing this album for my mom yesterday and she was like, is this Monster X? And after she said that, I was like, this kind of does sound like Monster X's style, rather than you know, what you would necessarily think of when you think of BAP. And that's not totally a bad thing, because they are really good songs, and of course groups are allowed to branch out and try different styles. But it just seemed kind of interesting to me that this is their second album kind of going for a slightly different style like that. And I believe a lot of the tracks were purchased from songwriters rather than written by Myungkuk, which is also an interesting development. But enough with that rant. The outer packaging looks really nice and I really like the gold accents on the back and on the side. We have the disc inside. The album is called Ego, but the single is called Hands Up and you've got both titles all over the album, which isn't in the least bit confusing if you don't know the name of the album. Oh, and the pages feel really nice and thick, too. That's really good. I was a little bit worried that they were going to cheat out on the packaging, but, oh, the pages feel really thick and really substantial, and that's good. So we have Youngguk, and they usually go in age order in their photo books. And Jan. Daehyun, oh, wow, he looks gorgeous. He looks really gorgeous in, in this photo shoot, and with a fake lip ring. We have Young Jay. Jung up. I'm not going to comment on his hair. Well, I am going to comment. I think it's just wet. I think it's just the wet look, but the way it's styled, it kind of looks like it could be fake dreads, and I'm not sure if they were going for that or not, but it's not really a good look. And of course we have my bias, Zello. I love that picture. That's such a striking picture of him. And we've got some group shots. Why are rap lines stuck behind the fence? Free the rap line. Oh wow. Oh, that's an incredibly beautiful picture of Zello. That one, I think, was one of the teaser photos. I really like that one as well. So now I guess we're going in reverse age order, because we have Jung up. Oh, and here's the photo card. <gasps> and I got Zello! Oh, that's awesome! So I don't have to trade. <laughs> That's actually a relief because BAP's photo cards are getting harder and harder to trade for and sell and buy as time goes on because unfortunately less and less people are collecting their albums. So I am very, very, very happy that I pulled my biases photo card. Yay! And they're also doing another Make Star project with this album. It's They're supposed to have like a special edition that you can order from Make Star that's supposed to have like a different photo book, different photo cards. I think the more expensive option even comes with a calendar set. So I guess they're doing that instead of the season's greetings this year. I'm trying to decide if I want to buy it or not because I think the more expensive version would be like 60 something to get it shipped to me which is a lot of money for basically an album that I already own. But then again, if it's as nice as that makes our photo book they put out, that's a really nice photo book. So, I don't know. I'll probably wait until they start putting out image teasers and then decide then. We have the lyrics for Hands Up. Let's see if it says anything about an original title. It doesn't say anything about like an original song title, like SM Albums Well If It's a Bot Track. But it does say it was composed by Andy Love and David Amber. So, not by anyone in the group. But the lyrics were contributed by Youngkook and Zello, which is awesome. I think this is the third title track in a row that Zello has contributed lyrics to, which I'm very, very proud of him. I think he's writing his own raps now, which is awesome. 
Then we have the credits for Moon Dance, which is my personal favorite on the album. Once again, we have lyrics by Jungkook. Okay, Zola didn't contribute to this one. You can see it says original title by Papers, which I'm assuming means the original title of the song was Papers. So Hands Up probably was just called Hands Up originally, hence <laughs> why there's no original title there. And we have the lyrics for it. Like I said, it's my personal favorite because it's it's really interesting. Like it starts off like sounding like it's gonna be the slower mid tempo song, and then it gets this instrumental like breakdown. And I think it's a song that you're gonna either love or hate. And I personally love it. And then Think Hole is the last song on the album. Doesn't have an original title listed, but you can see it was composed by a bunch of different people, including and in very interestingly. Ally X, who I know of because she wrote stuff for Troye Sivan's debut album, but I think she's also a pop star in her own right. Definitely not a credit I ever expected to see on a DAP album. But that one, you know, again, it kind of sounds something more like something you expect in another group to record, because I think it's more of that tropical house kind of feel. Like, if you listen to Monster X, it's vaguely similar to From Zero. Not like that they sound alike, but it's that same kind of genre. And we have the album credits and the first teaser photo we got, which was a total trick. We totally thought this was going to be like a, a mellow winter album from this picture, and no, no it's not. But yeah, honestly, I was really worried about this album when TS announced the details. Like, it's smaller than the other albums. It has less pictures, I believe, than Blue and Rose. But honestly, this feels like a higher quality product. We only got one version this time around, but the pages are really thick, really nice quality. And the packaging is hardcover, and it just, it feels a lot more substantial. So, honestly, I would not mind if they go back to just releasing one version and make that one version really good like this. Because with Blue and with Rose, yes, we got two versions, but half the photos were repeats, and the packaging felt kind of flimsy, in my personal opinion. Anyway, that's it for today's K-pop haul. Sorry for rambling so much today, but I hope you still enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings and K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.